Frozen's Elsa was a godsend to the internet. Still to this day, the thirst for videos featuring the Disney Queen seems unquenchable. Even Disney itself is unable to keep up with demand, online and beyond. As someone who works on the internet, I have never seen anything like it, until Suicide Squad's Joker and Harley Quinn came along. Does Warner Brothers really have something as potent as Frozen on their hands? I believe so, and today we're going to explore why. Now, first off, when David Ayer debuted his version of the Clown Prince of Crime and his Princess, comic book fans were left scratching their heads. While there were some clear influences from the Batman Arkham video games, as well as Grant Morrison and Scott Snyder's recent versions of the characters, the duo still seemed a far cry from what we were familiar with. But see, Warner Brothers already knows they have our money. It's the mainstream audience that needs convincing, and here's how David Ayer is doing it. Take Joker and Harley's fashion sense. It's actually very similar to some of the most popular toy brands right now. Bratz dolls, which gave way to Mattel's Monster High, and then Mattel's Ever After High. Disney has even been inspired to do their own version with The Descendants, which just debuted to a huge audience on the Disney Channel. Monster High is also going to get a live-action movie, by the way, currently slated for 2016, the same year as Suicide Squad. Suddenly, the colorful hair, clothes, and shoes don't seem like such odd choices, do they? I mean, you can take the fashion doll comparison even further with Joker and Harley's dream car, which totally looks like it drove off a toy shelf, right? So yeah, Suicide Squad has its mainstream tween and teen appeal nailed down tight for anyone who's currently playing with these dolls or has in the last few years. Now, as for appealing to adults, yes, adult comic book fans have gotten very good at cosplay. But accurately bringing your favorite comic book characters to life is hard, requiring hours of work and a solid investment. Plus, it's very hard to pull off the Joker and Harley Quinn, which is why when someone does, they kind of become internet famous. But with this new Joker and Harley, anyone and everyone can duplicate the look. Joker doesn't even have scars. He's just wearing lipstick and a grill. Harley's tattoos look like she drew them on herself, meaning you could totally doodle up your own face and look legit. Not to mention, trashy Halloween costumes have become super mainstream. Then, just like Elsa tapped into everyone's need to let it go and be themselves, Joker and Harley tap into equally popular and powerful yearnings. This Joker is gangsta and decidedly low-tech. It doesn't take lots of creativity, intelligence, superpowers, or madness to achieve his status. He's just an angry male who's decided to take on the system, something a lot of men have been feeling for quite some time. As for Harley, well, there's been an awful lot of talk about female empowerment lately, from Black Widow to Imperator Furiosa to Wonder Woman. It seems Margot Robbie's super-hot, downright beautiful, damaged goods Harley, complete with boyfriend, heck, competing boyfriends, is hard to top. Yes, this Joker and Harley Quinn are basically a comic book movie crossed with a live-action fairy tale. And that combination is irresistible just in theory. Wait until we see it at the multiplex. Harley Quinn is almost a dark comic book Cinderella in Ayer's Suicide Squad, with the Joker, both her Prince Charming and Fairy Godmother, all rolled into one. And while sure, their romance isn't perfect, that just goes along with Elsa's popularity. Both characters are tortured and tormented, but look great doing it. So with this new perspective, how do you now feel about Ayer's version of the Joker and Harley Quinn? And are you beginning to better understand why the Suicide Squad trailer is even more popular than anything featuring the two characters to date? Plus, let's start that countdown to a solo Joker and Harley movie, shall we? Yes, all Warner Brothers has to do is keep them from going full Mickey and Mallory, and they'll have their very own Frozen. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.